Introducing the Pyrenees Cervical Plate Systems from K2M. Complex Spine Innovations. The patient should be placed in a supine position, taking care to preserve or improve sagittal alignment of the spine. A surgical exposure of the ventral cervical spine is performed. Confirm that the proper surgical level has been obtained using either X-ray or fluoroscopic imaging. As required, a discectomy or corpectomy with grafting is performed. Once the disc space is exposed, remove all osteophytes from the anterior surfaces of the vertebral bodies to provide adequate surface contact between the underside of the cervical plate and the vertebra. Constrained and translational plates are available in multiple lengths and sizes to best fit the patient's anatomy. To select the appropriate Pyrenees cervical plate, place the tips of the caliper arms on the vertebral bodies at the anticipated overall plate length. The most appropriate plate size is the closest to the indicated length for the number of levels being fused. Make sure that the plate does not extend over either of the adjacent disc spaces. A properly sized plate will allow access to both screw holes at either end of the plate on the vertebral body. The screws can be positioned with up to 15 degrees of angulation in any direction, providing a total of 30 degrees conical range of angulation. If screws need to be placed at a greater angle, the thread former may be used allowing for 45 degrees conical range of angulation. Please note that the thread former can only be used on Pyrenees constrained plates and cannot be used on the translational plate. The Pyrenees cervical plates are designed with a lordotic curvature in order to minimize the amount of intraoperative contouring required. If additional curvature is required, the cervical plate bender can be used to adjust the contour of the plate to better match the cervical anatomy by adding additional lordosis or kyphosis to the cervical plate. The Pyrenees constrained cervical plates can be bent anatomically without impairing the ability of the screws to lock at any angle, eliminating the need for bend zones. The bender is only for use on the Pyrenees constrained plates. The translational plates are not designed to be bent, as this will damage the translation mechanism. The Pyrenees plate holder or any of the screw-through drill guides can be used to hold and position the cervical plate on the vertebral bodies. If using the screw-through drill guides, the two locating pins on the bottom of the drill guide provide positive fixation to the Pyrenees constrained plate. Once the plate has been positioned on the anterior cervical spine, temporary fixation pins may be used to temporarily secure the plate to the vertebral body. The fixation pins are engaged in the temporary fixation pin holder to allow easy insertion into the bone. Once seated, the temporary fixation pin holder is disengaged from the temporary fixation pin. Five unique drill guides are available for the Pyrenees Constrained System. The Variable Screw-Through Drill Guide, the Fixed Screw-Through Drill Guide, the Small Fixed Drill Guide, the Small Variable Drill Guide, and the Fast Drill Guide in conjunction with the Fast All. The Variable Screw-Through Drill Guide provides a movable cannula with a 30-degree conical range of motion used to drill, tap, and insert screws. The small variable drill guide also provides a 30-degree conical range of motion. Using the small fixed drill guide fixes the trajectory of the drill to be concentric to the screw hole. The fixed screw-through drill guide will give a fixed trajectory of 12 degrees. The fast drill guide, in conjunction with the fast awl, provides a screw-through drill guide option. To use this instrument, insert the fast awl down the shaft of the fast drill guide. Align the guide in two adjacent screw holes on the plate. Put downward pressure on the fast awl to perforate the vertebral cortex and engage the vertebral body. This will drill at an angle concentric with the screw hole 
and allows for placement of a screw through the drill guide barrel. In addition to the Pyrenees constrained variable drill guide, there are also three drill guides available exclusively for the Pyrenees translational system. These include the translational fixed drill guide, the translational fixed screw through drill guide, and the translational fast drill guide and all. All of these instruments function the same as the Pyrenees constrained instruments, but are anodized gold at the tip to indicate they are used with the translational plate only. If preferred, the 10 mm spring-loaded punch, or the awl, may be used to perforate the vertebral bodies. The awl is inserted into the spin top handle and introduced through the chosen drill guide, which has a positive stop at 10 mm. If drilling, insert the selected stop drill bit into the spin top handle. Three drill lengths are available, 12, 14, and 16 millimeters, and are color-coded to match the corresponding color-coded bone screw. Drill the screw hole through the selected drill guide. The Tyfix bone screws are color-coded by length for easy intraoperative identification and are available in three basic sizes, 4.0 millimeter diameter, available in self-starting and self-tapping options, 4.35 mm diameter and 4.5 mm diameter, which are both self-tapping screws. The hexalobe screwdriver has a tapered self-holding tip to provide for easy insertion of the Tyfix bone screws. The Tyfix bone screws are self-tapping, however, the 4 mm cancelless bone tap, or the 4 mm tap with stop, can be inserted into the pilot hole at the same angulation created by the drill in order to tap the vertebral bodies. Both of the taps have a positive stop at 10 mm. If preferred, self starting screws may be used, which do not require any drilling or tapping. Insert the appropriate sized Tyfix bone screw through the plate using the hexalobe screwdriver and preliminarily tighten the bone screw. The Tyfix bone screws are designed to fit easily through all of the screw through drill guides. This procedure is repeated for the remaining screws. If additional bone lagging is required, a bone reduction screw can be used to draw the vertebral body closer to the plate. The contralateral Tyfix bone screw is then used to hold the vertebral body to the plate while replacing the bone reduction screw with a Tyfix bone screw. Once all of the Tyfix bone screws have been secured, use the torque limiting handle in conjunction with the torque limiting hexalobe shaft for final tightening of the bone screws. The torque limiting screwdriver will provide a locking torque of 20 inch pounds and ensures that the Tyfix locking technology is fully engaged. The anti-torque instrument is available for both Pyrenees constrained and Pyrenees translational. This instrument docks onto the Pyrenees plate and is used as an anti-torque when final tightening. Upon advancement of the screw using the hexalobe screwdriver, the screw head engages on the locking lip of the plate, lagging the plate down to the bone. Once bone lagging is complete, the revolutionary Tyfix locking technology commences. Due to a difference in material hardness and design, each screw head begins to deform the plate through a reshaping process which creates an autogenic lock to the plate upon insertion, requiring no additional locking mechanism. Realignment of the same or different screws within a single plate hole can be repeated up to three times without compromising the locking feature. If using the translational plate, once the plate is locked into position, remove the pre-assembled clips at each level using standard OR forceps. Ensure all clips are removed before closing. If in situ compression is preferred, once the screws have been inserted and final tightened, remove the one millimeter or two millimeters clip.
Align the distal teeth of the compressor in the ratchet holes 1, 2, and 3. Then place the adjacent end of the compressor in the notch across the level of compression. Put light downward pressure on the compressor and squeeze to collapse the plate. Once the plate is collapsed, it will not reopen. Should it be necessary to distract the plate after compression, the distractor may be used in the same manner as the compressor. With all clips removed, align the distal teeth of the distractor in ratchet holes 2, 3, and 4, and place the adjacent end of the distractor in the notch across the level of distraction. Put light downward pressure on the distractor and squeeze to distract open the plate. Verify correct placement of the screws using intraoperative radiographs. Complete the procedure with the standard multi-layer wound closure treatment. The Pyrenees Cervical Plate Systems from K2M